And a big day for Cool, as we mentioned, uh, trying to get himself right. And uh, starts the game off with a walk. Cool still ahead of Ionetta. There we go. Cleans up the leadoff walk. I look at the numbers, Kyle Freeland. Uh, you know, uh, nothing really great right there. ERA, yeah, probably about average for nowadays, besides what I was saying earlier. 93. Yep. Came upstairs on him, even though it was just 93. Uh, the umpires uh, play, uh, not play, but they're, they're at their job longer. As Gonzalez has a base hit. It, it just kind of like, almost like shoots in there. There it is. Same one again. Down and away, and that's what he was trying to do there. And he missed so widely on it. And he was able to locate that one decent. And gets an easy fly out. As Rodriguez works a nine pitch walk. Oh. Leos Diaz stinking one. I thought that was going to hit him right in the middle of the back. Didn't you? Uh, it almost looked like the ball went through him. But he's a little different in that regard. Showed some power too in that second half of last season. But here the final out. Trevelli put his hands on the umpire's shoulders. <laughs> today, nice and sunny. Warming up into the 50s here today. Up toward the notch. And on the roof of the bullpen, Chris Ionetta with a home run. Well, if you, I don't know if anyone caught uh, Cool's reaction. Before that ball's even out of the infield, he knows it's gone. I mean, he was very upset with the way it was hit. And then uh, when we see where it lands, then we know why he knew it was gone. And he strikes out Blackman. And that's a backdoor curveball. He will lose story, the third free pass issued until the uh, Corey Dickerson trade. This was starting to shape up like a quick inning for Cool, but now the Rockies have put two on. A little check swing. And a shovel play, and Bell came down in time. Thanks, Gravity. Anyhow, story, I mean. Diving play by Gonzalez. Robbing Marte and he tips his cap. How can you not on that good play? He hasn't been exactly the most efficient on there either, but he's been effective. And that's a big help right there getting that two out walk. Down the line and this one is gone. A home run. Sean Rodriguez puts the Pirates in the lead. For the first time in this series, the Pirates have the lead. Home run number two. And you color in the diamond when they score the run. You got to put freeze in there, too. Another base hit. Diaz two for two. Well, the catcher's just ripping. Right now, what you're saying with him. Moroff puts a drive into this one. That's going to head toward the wall. Well, it should score a run. Diaz on his way in, and Max Moroff. With an RBI double with two outs, three to one, Buckos. Two out rally. And Cool puts it in play. Soft liner that's going to drop in. And a one out base runner, LeMahieu's first hit tonight. When he came up, he's a sinker slider guy. And now he gets a strikeout there, but but being able to maybe because he certainly got the strikeout stuff. Comes in and hits Blackman. Para makes the final out. Very a short leash. Soft liner. And Blackman can't get there. Get through base hit for Mercer. 
Bellinger has to put on the brakes. Back to back singles to start the fifth. This is game number seven for him. He's on the six and two thirds. Check your local listings for the next area. There's a base hit for Bell. Frazier being waved home and Parra bobbling it makes him score easily. The Pirates lead four to one. For our open in the side. Well, okay. We're Walks were cut in half. And on the tenth pitch, a ball to the wall. That and might be the uh, the break it open uh, hit we were talking about. That'll score them both. A two run double for David Freeze. Miami. <laughs> Chad Cool with a very strong outing today. One run over six. Moran coming off the bench with a base hit. He's going to try for two. And Moran, the rookie with a pinch hit double. Four innings or so. Frazier has one roll through. Moran's going to be waved home. He's scoring on the RBI single by Frazier, and it's 7 to 1. Because we haven't been hitting of late, uh, you know, had some. They get the little infielders clubs, the little tiny ones, just for the uh, flip games. Oh, Jerry yeah. Davis kicked the ball kicked away. Kicked the ball away. Top of your fingers, and that's what's giving the, the spin for the break. Or you could just have the ball put in play. We don't have to talk about 15th yeah. century Germany again. Antonio Sensatella coming on. How about Sean Rodriguez drawing two walks today? Oh, I used to watch a romper room. <laughs> I should think that the teacher could see us. Is <laughs> such a familiarity with a guy like Felipe Vasquez might help him acclimate a little bit to the clubhouse and to the city a little bit. And and the guys that have been sent down, they don't have to stay down forever. If they pitch well down at AAA and there's a spot for them, uh, they can come back up. And so you That's, know, but, yeah. but don't uh, just stay with the same results. Yeah, great point. It's gone sometimes from making a, a poor pitcher into a usable pitcher. We've had poor pitchers become stars. In the case of his uh, former teammate. That's an infield hit for Story. Eddie Romero Camper, with Camper. his first major league hit, and it's going to be for extra bases. That's around those bags, Eddie. You got yourself a double. Let me turn and left. <laughs> Frazier wants him to get a workout. He'll just go to third on that base hit. Three yeah. straight singles for Frazier. Did you see him hold up there and wait until he saw the ball was going to drop before he took off? That's deep. That's certainly a deep fly ball. That will work. And here comes Romero to score. His first major league run as well. They will work the walk. His money's on the Diamondbacks. That's not a bad bet either, I'd, I'd say. Good guess. Parra couldn't get there and hangs up long enough. Frazier with two out scores easily. So does Marte and give Bell two more RBIs. Ten to two, Buckos. Tockman down on strikes. Make those numbers a little, a little different. That makes a lot of sense. He's struck out three in a row now. DJ LeMahieu, one for three, two for four. If that stays in play. And Frazier able to track it down, and the Pirates off to a 12 and 6 start. They're able to take a game from the Rockies, and those bats are back. Yeah, this was a uh, an important game, I think. And if, this, if you can have an important game at this time of season, just because of the fact that for the first time you you're going to lose a series, and you don't want to get swept. So they came out and uh, got a pretty good uh, you know, pitching effort from Cool.